really the project started when my team was sitting around discussing some of the issues we were having in our neighborhoods. And we had noticed that over this last year, some of the graffiti had really been increasing in the neighborhoods. The project really started with the 12 people in my unit. And as people started hearing about the project, it started getting out into the community itself. The mayor's office had heard about it. Um, the other agencies and departments in the city had heard about it. Um, all of a sudden we started realizing that we really could expand out and reach more places if more people became involved and we got some more volunteers. In the process of doing all that, we found out about Make a Difference Day and uh, discovered that if we got some volunteers to go out, we could actually go and make it a huge volunteer day, which is that exactly what we ended up doing. Word got out through the news media, the radio stations, the newspaper, finding out that we were going to do this one particular day of gra graffiti cleanup for the city. Um, we ended up getting so many volunteers, we actually had to cut it off because we didn't have enough supplies to actually cover all the volunteers that wanted to come and help. Home Depot donated a ton of supplies to us, paints, brushes, rollers. Tate's Rents uh, donated several items, uh, pressure washers and, and paint sprayers and that type of thing. We were lucky on our department, we had several people that knew what they were doing when it came to painting. They went out ahead of time and primered all the spots that were going to be real difficult for the volunteers to paint over. So two, two to three days beforehand, we tried to have everything primered. Then the day of the event, on the 27th of October, all the volunteers came together. We had 140 volunteers come together. Each of them went out in different teams and we attacked the graffiti problem. You're doing a fine job. We were hitting stop signs and yield signs and street signs and buildings and businesses and houses and fences. I mean, you name it, we went out and we tried to clean up as much as we could. It was a one day event, but I think we did a pretty good job. Go up and down. But with the volunteers, <laughs> we got anywhere from kids. We've got the juvenile system that got involved. We had people coming from Weezer and Nampa and Payette and completely not even in our community coming and wanting to help with them. Yeah. Some of the departments in the city participated, the fire department, the police department, public works. On top of that, we had just your everyday average citizen that had had enough of the graffiti, was tired of seeing it plaguing our city and they came out to help and paint over it. I had one situation where I had a 101 year old lady who had her whole side of her garage that was tagged with graffiti. Um, when we went to paint over it she came out with her caretaker and she started crying. She was so appreciative and it was something that she couldn't have done on her own. She needed that help, that community help. That story alone to me is a success. Nina, you're doing a great job. So we hit over 75 sites we didn't hear one negative thing. Everybody was so grateful that we had come together as a group and attacked the problem. We couldn't have done it without the community. 12 people going out and trying to attack the problem, we wouldn't have gotten anywhere near 75 sites. A lot of things have come out of it. We're trying to start up a task force to attack the problem right after it happens. The citizens that were involved in this have stayed in contact with me and want to push forward and want to find other ways that they can help with the situation. Um, I would love to see it happen again. I would love to see that, that group and then hopefully we can get more I think it was a huge success.